Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dai News. Today we're unraveling an intriguing situation that has caught the attention of many. Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani of Iraq recently made a return to his homeland with the intention of delivering a pivotal speech. However, the timing of his speech has sparked curiosity and confusion. It appears that the speech was scheduled to be delivered through Alak, but there's a twist Alak is currently in the United States. So, how is it possible for Alak to make a speech in Iraq today? To understand this, we need to delve into the concept of pre-recorded messages. A pre-recorded interview or speech is a powerful tool in today's interconnected world. It allows individuals to address a large audience without being physically present. This method is not only convenient but also ensures that the message is conveyed clearly and without interruptions. In the case of Prime Minister al-Sudani, his speech was likely pre-recorded before his departure to the United States. This practice is not uncommon, especially for high-profile figures who have demanding schedules and international commitments. By pre-recording their speeches, they can ensure their presence is felt and their message heard, even when they are miles away. The use of pre-recorded speeches also allows for editing and refining the content to deliver a polished and impactful message. It provides the flexibility to broadcast the speech at an appropriate time, aligning with the audience's availability or significant events. Now, let's focus on the content of Prime Minister al-Sudani's speech. His recent visit to the White House and the bilateral meeting with President Biden highlighted the strong partnership between Iraq and the United States. The Prime Minister emphasized the importance of this relationship, especially in the context of the Middle East's stability and security. He thanked the United States for its support in the fight against ISIS and expressed his commitment to strengthening Iraq's economy and energy independence, this speech comes at a crucial time when Iraq is recovering and rebuilding. Service projects and infrastructure repairs are underway, signaling a new era of hope and progress for the Iraqi people. Prime Minister al-Sudani's message is clear Iraq is on the path to recovery, and its partnership with the United States will play a pivotal role in this journey. As we reflect on the Prime Minister's words, we are reminded of the power of communication in today's world. Whether it's through a live address or a pre-recorded message, the ability to connect with people across the globe is a testament to our technological advancements and the unifying power of shared goals. In conclusion, Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani's return to Iraq and the subsequent speech through Alak demonstrate the innovative ways leaders can communicate with their citizens and the international community. It's a fascinating example of how technology bridges distances and ensures that voices are heard, regardless of physical boundaries. Thank you for tuning in to our channel. If you found this analysis insightful, please like, share and subscribe for more updates on global events. Until next time, stay informed and engaged.